Howdy and hello, I'm Doe. Hope we're doing good. And today we have a guide for Orisa, an insanely fun hero in Overwatch 2. And by the way, I was an ex top 500 Orisa player back in the day, season 7, season 8. So I have a little bit of knowledge on this character. <laughs> you guys suck. I'm leaving so my chat doesn't get to see it. Watch this. And even the changes. So I want to give you guys a rundown of how to play her and then show some gameplay and give some pros and cons. Now her weapon is an augmented fusion driver, automatic heat based weapon. That heat part means it can actually overheat. You keep shooting, you see that little red meter. If it goes to the very end of that, you now overheat it. You have like a three to five second cooldown before you can fire again. But if you want to, you can feather it, making it so you can fire basically an unlimited amount. It just requires a little bit of awareness to make sure you don't overheat the gun. It deals more damage the closer you are. Now your abilities, energy javelin, Launch your javelin at an enemy to stun and knock them back. The stun can actually interrupt abilities and ultimates. They can knock them off of freaking off of uh, buildings and off into the abyss, getting environmental kills, which is an insanely good feeling in Overwatch. Just by the way, it does 55 damage just on a base hit. It does 100 total if they hit the wall after being hit by the javelin. It can be eaten by defense matrix and it can be deflected by Genji. Fortify makes you tanky. You gain temporary health. I believe over health, making so enemies that shoot you get 50% less ultimate charge as long as you're shooting at you and you have over health. It also reduces all damage taken and you become an unstoppable, meaning you can't be stunned, slowed, but you can get anti by Ana's grenade, which makes you purple and means you can't get healing. While active, heat generated by your weapon is reduced. I didn't even know that, but good to know, I suppose. Javelin spin, twirl your javelin, destroy projectiles and block melee attacks. You can actually eat ultimate with javelin spin. You can also eat things like sleep dart and on a grenade. So it's kind of insane what can be done with this ability. It's basically a baby diva matrix and it also deals damage. If you run into folks, you'll be spinning it, knocking them back. It does a total of 100 damage if you land every single spin attack in this ability, which isn't likely, but it does damage. You're knocking these back. You can get through doorways and you also get a boost of movement speed as well. Arisa's ultimate, Terra Surge, sweep in enemies and anchor down, basically suck folks into the center of your giant ultimate, make a giant ring and enemies in it are slowed down. And while you're doing that, you gain the effects of Fortify and charging up a surge of damage. Use your primary attack button to unleash the surge early. The way it works is as you're charging, you get a percentage. That percentage is the actual damage it deals. 100%, 100 damage, 500% the max is 500 damage. Now for the pros of playing Orisa, she's actually insanely fun to play. Her javelin feels like nothing else in the game and it's just mad, it's mad fun to hit someone across the map with a javelin or to just hit them off the map or just get the last hit with it in general. Like she is phenomenally fun to play and the improvement from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2 is crazy, especially coming from an Orisa main back in Overwatch 1. Like I enjoy playing her then. Now, it's just a different ballpark of fun. And on a less objective note, she's actually really tanky. Like she does her role really well. Having two abilities that actually help you soak damage, one keeps you alive, the other helps you keep yourself alive again and also peel for her teammates is massive. Like she has insane counterplay and viability versus many different heroes. Now the cons are she doesn't have any mobility except for her E. Like she moves fast forward, but she can't take height and she can't do a couple other things, which is fine. You need to have separation between the tanks, but it's just something to be aware of. Like if you're playing on certain maps, like maybe Gibraltar, you might not want to play Orisa. Some handy dandy Orisa tips. If you want, you can bully enemies with your javelin spin, the little twirl thing. You can use that to push enemy tanks or squishy players into your team. When you do this, it's important to actually ping them because for some reason, people won't notice the 18 foot tall Amazonian with the ax being wonton baton swirled towards them at a decent rate. Uh, you also have Orisa's ultimate. It takes a while to charge, so going after a tank makes no sense the max the max damage you can do is 500 percent and a lot of tanks have movement meaning by the time it gets to that 500 percent they're gone they're long gone silvers okay so you're better off going for squishy targets especially ones that don't have mobility like zenyatta or zenyatta for sure like the best person to go after literally is zen after he uses his transibility his ultimate which is transcendence because he doesn't have any movement he's a goner when using Orisa's left click or I guess right trigger, her auto attack, aim for the head, especially when you're close because her projectiles do so much damage. On the same topic, aiming for the head after landing a javelin toss on an enemy that hits the wall is almost a guaranteed pick on switchy targets, especially when not getting pocketed by their healers. Try to get as close as possible to the enemy without feeding your brains out because you do way more damage. When playing versus a D.Va or Genji, try not to shoot defense matrix because you're doing no damage to her and also overheating your gun or getting close to it for no reason. And for Genji, don't shoot deflect or try your best not to. It's hard, but 
if you see him deflecting just stop shooting in the moment you realize it's happening because you're wasting your time and you're also overheating your gun for no reason and aside from that as far as it goes for fortify her last ability we haven't covered in tips yet try to use this if you're about to get slept by anna like if you know you don't have your javelin up and you know anna's like hey what's that robotnik booty doing over here try to use your fortify before you get hit by cc because you can maybe use it after but it's better to not get close to dying which can happen if you get slept and a whole team is like hey what's up wrong neighborhood that's not ideal so trying to prevent that from happening in the first place is huge if you get anti it's also a good idea to use your fortify because you won't be getting heals so surviving when you can't get heals is a big deal the biggest tip in overwatch is just to know when to swap your hero yeah it's still a game of chess in the sense that you'll be playing a character who's just getting dunked on and you may not know mm -hmm. it but knowing that you are getting dunked on is how you prevent yourself from losing games hard and give yourself a chance of actually winning those games you're currently losing if i'm if i'm running at you like if i try to fire strike like what like and then it's like oh i'm gonna charge you oh it's like all right whatever maybe my charge comes back up wait okay, well, you suck. I, <laughs> what? I, did, I forgot <laughs> you're supposed to shift man. so like, like if I'm trying this, to... this this blocks melee that's fucking yeah. melee you're tackling okay. me I'm gonna shatter. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah. I literally just have to hold my shield like a bot. And, and if I get ah. close to you, ah. like I'll try to swing on you and just. Uh, and then I was like, nope, this guy. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Yeah, are you ready? I'm yeah. Do it. Three, two, one. That one's actually easy. Like, that one's it actually is. hella easy. Uh, if I try to do my thing, you can either boot me back or. You can just do that? Yeah, you or can. Or right click. Run. Or right click me. Yeah, yeah like right Arisa is actually, yeah. If I try to dive you, it's like. It's like yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, monkey's like fucking trash. I haven't shifted yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, well, monkey, the thing with monkey is like, it's just hard for me to kill monkey, so monkey gets a lot of value on killing my teammates. You know what I mean? Oh, you gotta be quicker than yeah, that's right. Yeah I, think, yeah, I think ball just lives. Like I can't, I can't kill ball. I can't even headshot like, ball. You can javelin me, maybe, but like I'm out of there. Maybe. Like, ah, yeah. Loser, loser, loser. Ball can just run away, and, yeah. and same with Diva. Like Diva can just run away, and she can also eat my stuff. Zarya's in like the green where she can just do whatever she wants against you. Just yeah. Bubbles. I noticed that. What are you gonna do about it? And I can't, I can't eat anything. Like. Yeah. What are you gonna do? If I shoot you, it's GG. Like, you're not even charged and I'm almost dead. Oh my god. That's the only mental. thing is, you can maybe eat grab. Maybe. But it's hard. Like, this is dude. But, like, yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Because if I try to hook you, it's like, oh. And if you try to heal. The only thing is, I can do this. And I can't get that. But, arra. But you can still count on me somehow. Like, I, I think with, like, yeah, that is that I can eat a lot of your stuff and you can't one tap me. I can nope. shift your hook if I really have to, and I can also cancel your heal. But I can't cancel your ultimate. I can also cancel your hook too. If you hook a, a, like a teammate mm -hmm. of mine and I and I spear you, you, then you can't do anything. Hog actually can roll me if he saves his ultimate for my ultimate. That's like the only case. He's like, ah, so oh, yeah, he destroys me. Brilliant. It's crazy. It happened to me in a ranked game. I was mad. Well, okay. I can punch you through that, but that's that's more that's of a it. Kind of thing, or like that, or like. Ugh. Yeah, Doomfist. I dude, last night absolutely dunked on a doomfist it was tremendous really bad for them yeah the only things you got to worry about if you're playing orisa is diva sigma monkey kind of zarya for sure and ball and to conclude the video i'd say that orisa is a great character for both new players play, and play. folks that want to have a high skill ceiling character but she's not too hard to play but she has a lot of complexities that you can get good at and it requires good game sense to make her kit really pop off so if you're looking for a character like that she's perfect she's also fun like, I can't emphasize how fun she is enough. But that's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm just going to EMP as you throw. That's, like, way easier. Well, okay, well, you need to count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get better timing, bro. Get better timing. I mean, that's... Okay. All right, three, two, one. I'm throwing. You, you jumped. <laughs> oh, my God.